So I'm paying the bloke an enormous tip, and he says to your mum, he says, Ditch your husband, lass, and move up here with me. I said, you stick to your bagpipes, mate, and leave the romance to me, eh? Yeah, but he had a lovely pair of knees, though. It sounded like two cats in a blender. I tell you what, though, that kilt made up for an awful lot. So did Maisie not say where she was going? Like, she tells me anything. Look, if there's going to be a mad blonde I'm going to chase, I'd rather it wasn't my sister. <laughs> did we miss anything? Anything exciting happen? Ah, this is the welcome home party. You're a bit late. I am... Mm. Hello, darling. I'm absolutely starving. If you're alive. Mm. All weekend, some going, Mike, even for you. Oh, you're just getting old, Dad. Yeah, I keep telling him that. Don't take any notice. I should have left you to your bagpipes. Really, Mum? Excellent. Did you get his number? I could do with a holiday. Yeah, I bet. Sadly, no. Your father's mobile phone rules wouldn't allow it. Oh, I don't know how you survived. You'd be amazed. I wondered how long it was going to take you. Where have you been? With my wife, actually. No, no, Faye. You listen to me for a change. You said you would leave this. And then what? I come back to 13 missed calls. I mean, what's that about? This isn't a polite request anymore. You decide where to meet. I'm sorry. That's not going to happen. Tomorrow's good for me. Unfortunately, not for me. Now, look. No, there are things I need to talk to you about that I'm just not prepared to deal with over the phone. And don't try and fob me off. I mean it. You'll be sorry. You thinking about getting a tattoo? Question is, where? How many times do we have to go over, over this? The best thing for both of us is if we stay well away from each other. Just stop ringing me. <sighs> I've got to go. Put a clean towel on the rail. Thanks. Make us some chips, will you? Seeing as I'm starving and homeless. Oh, I don't know how you managed to survive out there. Hmm, neither do I. Got what a lousy week. I mean, first, first I get laid off, and then 17 bills come at once. Mm, well, if you want to keep a flat and run a nice car. Hmm, yeah, I had to get rid of it. Killed me, parting with my little babe magnet. Mm, pity it was such a parking ticket magnet as well. You'll find a new job soon. I'll have to. There's no way I'm walking anywhere. <laughs> Was that your new boyfriend you were talking to? At least I hope it's soon. Look at this place. It's a tip already. I just, uh, I heard you say Mark. That's all. Ask him if he knows anyone who needs a good mechanic next time you see him. Well, he's just an old friend I occasionally have a chat with. I've known him since, oh, way before you were born. So he's back on the scene now. You've moved up in the world, is he? <laughs> It's only a flat. <laughs> yeah, like King Kong's only a monkey. Well, he's an ape, actually. Speaking of which, go and put some clothes on, Tarza. So it's definitely <coughs> happening, then, you and this Mark? No clothes, no chips. I'm just, you know, I'm just checking him out, that's all, making sure he's OK. I don't want some no Mark messing my mum about, do I? So did nobody ask where you've been? It's a woman's privilege to retain an element of mystery at all times. Mm. Your brother won't bother. Mm, he couldn't really care less. It's all for mum and dad's benefit. I mean, that weed babysitting me. Come on. Have you always been this much of an handful, or is it just the country air? Uh... Always have been. Always will be. We agreed. Although I do sometimes wonder where she gets it from. Excuse me, Bill, I am not a flirt. Well, not recently, anyway. Hmm. Exactly. And you matured into a safe, sensible, sober married woman. So that's fine. That sounds awful, and I really do hope it's not true. <laughs> Evening. Looking well, Mrs. Wilde? Oh, spare me, please. If you can drag yourself away long enough. Oh, well, it's OK. We serve anybody in here. Clearly. <laughs> Two large Highland malts? Yeah, excellent idea. I think we should put a long holiday. Hmm? I'm just going to see what's happened to our depths. Don't go anywhere. Don't worry. Good trip, then, was it? Yeah, shame we had to come back. Yeah, I know what you mean. Still, can't avoid work forever. <laughs> Something to aim for, though, eh? <laughs> Give you more time to chat up barmaids. Mm. Was there something in particular? No, not really. Just wanted to see whether you enjoyed your holiday. No, I did. Oh, what the hell is that supposed to mean? Trouble is, I'm not sure whether I can keep up anymore at my age. Still, 
might get a bit of a rest now you two are back, eh? I'm not standing for that, especially from him. Mark? Don't think you can speak to us like that and just walk away. What were you trying to say back there? You lost me, pal. Now, if you don't mind, I've got to go and see about my daughter. Yeah, and I'm looking after mine, all right? So whatever's gone on or whatever you want us to think has gone on, as of now, you stay away from her, right? Or what? I know you might not like it, but she's hardly a kid. And maybe you're better off talking to her. I'm talking to you. Yeah, and you're boring me. Hey! Don't turn your back on me. Why? What are you going to do? You're going to hire some Evis to do me over, are you? Oh, not in the street, lads. Whatever it is. You think I need him? Don't underestimate me. I might be a lot more trouble than you think. Come on. I'll buy you a pint. Should have hit him harder. Oi. You're going to regret that. It's not a threat. It's a promise. And the difference with me won't just be a slap. You won't even see it coming. <laughs>